everyone, welcome back to the Bat Prototype uh, Let's Play series on Attack of the B-Team. Uh, we are on episode 12, and I found a mini dungeon, another one, which on Attack of the B-Team it does seem like there's usual malt, usually multiple uh, little dungeon areas you can find. Um, I've already found one previous in an earlier episode. <laughs> so, woohoohoo! Hopefully the other one has a script. It's just easier doing that. Let's see what you got here. <laughs> so yeah, I got that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen what you can do with the paintbrush, but this one clearly has green on it. Oh. Really? There we go. See? You can paint stuff. <laughs> if you break it, it goes away. So, all right. Let's... I think this is a dead end. Looking for any good ore. God, that looks bizarre. <laughs> I might paint my house a little bit that color. Hmm. I mean, in game, of course. We got anything good? No. Not really, anyways. Um, you guys may not have seen this, but that's a pile of ash, which there's a biome full of that stuff. Alright, and here's some of that. Now, I think I did mention already that these these squishy blocks that I've been digging up stuff from, um, you can cook the meat, and I may end up doing that, because uh, I don't know if I have any food. I may have to start making some food. Alright, so that area is done. Um, but yeah, I think farming will be the next episode. Really? Where did all of... Well, it looks like I also... Let me go back. Because I know there were some coal blocks, I think, in this one? Is it in this one? This one? No. No, so it's not. It's down a little bit. Um, which is, mm, I know you're here. But, yeah, usually if I, uh, run out of, uh, torches while I'm in a mine shaft, no, I can usually, uh, just break up some stuff and where did I fall out over here? <laughs> I'm a little confused how I got over here. Short term memory, that's a great thing. Did it... I feel like I was around here somewhere. Grrr. I'm all confused. I usually do end up just digging straight up if I get lost in a mine shaft because I always know where I can uh, come back from the beginning again. Is that a coal block? No, it's redstone, but I can light it up. Alright, there's more light over here. Ha! All right, <laughs> let's make some sticks. Now, I'm not sure if it's a server I play on or if it is, um, Ugh. or if it's the um, mod itself, but at least on the server, if I, um, 
the more I mine, the more I get f from things. I think that made sense. Like, instead of just getting like one or two pieces of coal, I'll get like, it'll basically be digging like I have a fortune pick or something, which is very useful. <laughs> now, a lot of people, ooh, I say open and you got nothing. Erg. Ooh. Oh, those look nifty. But I need to empty out my shield. I got more blocks of that. Let's see what those do. Um, apparently nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I totally lost my train of thought. I am all over the place today. Great. Let's get our backpack out. Put some stuff away. Hmm. I think there's some stuff I can leave out. Like, I have the ores out for sure. I'm putting things in the backpack that can't stack. Poop. Or if they can. God, those glasses are so bizarre. Par I think they're just for looks because I don't, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Oh yeah, so this is a fossil item, the fern seeds. It says seeds, but you really can't do anything with them <laughs> at all. Um, all you can really do is um, put it into a feeder, which is another fossil creation. And... Multitasking is hard. <laughs> um, you put it in the feeder, or you can um, you can put it into a few other blocks that are not fossil related, and they'll eat it up. But mainly, the feeder is what you'd use it for. Um, yeah, I can't think of the other use for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that would be one. I think you can change it into biofuel too, but don't quote me on that. Now, these white stones, for me anyways, are really useless. <laughs> I can't really tell you what the use of them are. Um, I know one of the, it's either the blue, black, or, um, or uh, the white one that will, like, kind of resurrect you real quick but yeah I don't know I never use them I don't see the point so I don't bother okay I'm clear <laughs> yeah hey. I don't know with this whole game for me it okay so because I'm legally blind working is incredibly difficult to find like to work um, and to find a place that won't discriminate <laughs> yeah 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 there are a lot of places that say equal opportunity hire and they're full of shit because <laughs> I actually have a master's degree in psychology and I think I'm going to be going back for a counseling uh, certificate this summer um, uh, but I've applied to hundreds of places and the only places I've ever been able to work were set up by the blind organization in Washington um, which are wonderful people and do wonderful things uh, Department of Services for the Blind uh, actually my counselor there she 
uh, is just now retiring and she's in her 70s and she's also completely blind and uh, she's she's really cool um, and I've known her about 15 years but kind of getting away from that uh, I got some stuff <laughs> uh, what's it called and oh I had like two internships for them uh, and those were great wonderful experiences met many awesome people um, but oh and the only other job I got that it was kind of related because it was actually paid by the um, organization to be in existence which is called the YES program and it worked with <laughs> blind youth <laughs> shocking and um, that was probably one of my favorite jobs it was you know I may end up talking about this more in another episode because I could go on a while for this but I tried finding jobs forever what ended up happening is no one would hire me because I was overqualified which is bullshit um, when they're asking specifically for people with psychology degrees so I ended up having to work at Goodwill way 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 below um, what I'm qualified to do and <laughs> it's one of the most miserable jobs filthy jobs um, it but we needed I needed to work during that time so um, to kind of relieve some of the stress I was going through I played Minecraft um, and I did not start playing Minecraft when everybody else did I started like two or three years after it had come out so it had been quite <laughs> it had been quite established for some time at this point um, but over time I learned how to play it I still am not a great gamer when it comes to it and I'm still learning things even with the vanilla Minecraft but um, in general um, it's it's kept my brain kind of very zen out like some people meditate and I can't do that <laughs> my brains too flippy floppy for that um, but it's it's it just it helps me relax like some people do drugs some people drink um, I certainly nap and that helps but <laughs> It makes me feel like I'm doing something when in fact I'm not really doing anything but it's a he good healthy wholesome game that even my child can play and he does <laughs> quite a lot so I think uh, we'll leave it off right here and I will see you in the next episode if you guys have any questions about personal stuff I have no problem answering them I'm not offended easily so I'll talk to you guys later bye